Wow, this is cool. Hey. Hey, you. You, the adept rogue. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. So, I take it this is your first time playing this game. Yeah, I just finished installing it to my PC. Well, if you wish, we will be honored to show you around. I am sure you would like to become well acquainted as soon as possible. Just say yes and come along with us. I promise you won't regret it. Uh. All right, it is decided then. Here, I'll hand you my member address. Member addresses are short email addresses that you can only use in the world. Short mail allows you to instantly send and receive messages from any player online in the world. You can only invite people that you have member addresses for to join into your party. All right, so let's open the menu. Press the triangle button to open it. This is a list of all the people who have a member address. Choose our names from this list and then press the X button. Okay, let's have some fun. to lend you my sword. Okay, great. Now your party is complete. Remember, you can only invite people logged into the world. Enough with the formalities. Should we go on to your first adventure? This is a transporter called the Chaos Gate. Players can use this to travel from the root town to other locations. Choose Warp Menu. In the world, all locations except for root towns, fields, and dungeons are called areas. You can warp to these areas by combining three words at the Chaos Gate. These words determine the type of area, monster strength, and so on. All right, let's try out the word selection. Choose area word from the menu. This is where you input the words. The thing at the top is the word plate. You combine the three words in here to create the area you wanna go. The gyro at the left of the screen shows your current stock of words. You can get more words by getting information from other players, emails, and forums. Okay, why don't you give it a try? Let's start with the first word. Choose courageous from your stock. Okay, now you can go to your first area. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. See the mark left of the area word? That's a server symbol. It indicates the server you're currently in. Right now, it's showing triangle for Delta. So, as you can see, we are all in the Delta server. 
If it's a different server, you'll go to another area even with the same area word. Pay attention to the server symbol when invited to an area by a friend. If you want to know more, just check out some of the forums. All right, then we're off to Delta Courageous Engaging Daydream. So, we've all been transported to a field. Open your map to take a look at the layout. Go ahead and press the select button on the controller. This is the area map. Use this screen to check current position, mission info, and any other information you may need. First, let's take a look at what our mission is. Go ahead and press the X button. This is our mission. Missions are basically um, well, I guess they're sort of like our objective for the area. It looks like this is a collection mission. We must collect three symbol fragments and make our way to the Beast Temple. The symbol fragments are in treasure chests found on the altars. The altars are protected by monsters, so the only options are to open the treasure without being seen or defeat the monsters first, then open the treasure. These are the altar icons. I suggest we first head to each of these icons and open the treasure chests. Now, this is the icon for the Beast Temple, which is our final destination. Okay, now that we've confirmed what our mission is, let's be on our way. Wait up, Asta. You forgot one more thing. Okay, this time let's really get going. Mm. If you're unsure where the Beast Temple or the Altars are, just press the Select button to check the map. Nice! We found an altar already. Good! Now, press the X button for a surprise attack. Once a battle begins, the battle area spreads out like this. The battle area is surrounded by the battle fence, so it's virtually impossible for anyone to escape. The only way to escape from a battle is with an item called a smoke screen. Asta and I don't have one right now, so we'll have to fight it out. Fighting like that. So 
that's it. you about using skills to attack. My sword fears nothing! Regular and combo attacks are just simply normal attacks. Skills enable you to do much more damage to your enemies. Okay, what you see here is the skill trigger menu. Do you see the four panels? You can press the button that corresponds to each panel to execute the different arts. Now try it out by using the arts, Gale Blade. All right, perfect. The skill trigger is not just a shortcut. It can also be used to stop enemy attacks, or it can be used to interrupt one of your own. Aren't you forgetting something important, EO-10? There is an even more important use for the skill trigger. Of course I haven't forgotten. You're talking about Rengeki, right? There you go. Very well. Shall we let him play as he wishes? That's a good idea. All right, Haseo. It's all up to you now. Yeah! 
Awesome job! Alright, let's finish off by heading for the Beast Temple. Okay, now use the map to check your position, just like we taught you. This is a statue of Fulset, the god of law. We just call it the Beast Statue. But I think in the game's story, it's supposed to be an important god or something. See that treasure box? That's the offering to the Beast Statue. There's a rare item inside of that that you can only get in this area. Go ahead and open it, Haseo. Sure. Go ahead. You're still a noob. You need all the help you can get. Thanks. <gasps> what the? The items in the treasure chest are your rewards. Yes, and our reward is you. <laughs> I love taking out these pathetic noobs. It's really quite fun. Face it, an idiot like you isn't qualified to play this game. Hey, hold on. I thought you said I could kill this one. Don't you remember? After all, this is my reward! How pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you expect from a noob who's just logged in for the first time? Oh, come on, say something already. Hello. 
I swear. Just pretend to be their friend. And they fall all over themselves to let you PK them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're still around, aren't you? Huh? What the? Welcome to the world. 